What's going on, Tony? Hi, man. How are you? <laughs> Good. What kind of hairdo we got going on these days? Man bun? Sorry? I said, what kind of hairdo you got going on these days? A, a man bun? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Trying new things, man. <laughs> what have you been up to since all this stuff's been going on with the quarantine? You and the family, what have y'all been doing? Yeah, basically, uh, the the first days we we could still uh, be more free, still get out and do some activities like cycling almost every day. But the situation gets more uh, more tough, and I continue going out like two days a week cycling, but the rest of the time stay at home, take care of the kids. Training at home on the Swift, as you know, um, and yeah, working in other stuff like designing shoes with my sister. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a future project, but uh, it's just the beginning. So we have a lot of a lot of to do, no? Yeah. And what What about you? <laughs> uh, not too much, really. Just. Uh kind of the same as you just taking it pretty serious one thing i'm worried about is i don't want to get it and then give it to my parents so uh that'd be bad but i'm ready for it to be over i'm ready to watch some racing and uh you know just hanging out with dana and the cats and and laying low <laughs> been pretty bored actually <laughs> good 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 uh so i want to bring you back to 2016 from uh you know before you came and did the austin test you know, you were. It was almost March. You didn't have a ride. Yeah. Uh, how scary was that? I mean, to be that close to the season starting and uh, you know have no offers. Well, this has been uh, the situation for for many years for me. Uh, always finding the ride uh, when I was in MotoGP in the last moment um, was a. Uh, October, with every rider in MotoGP with contract, under contract, sign it. And my my situation was not never that one. Always some good result in the last moment, boom. Uh, Grisini or Pramac or something to ride next season every single year. But I couldn't handle that anymore. The situation got uh, worse and worse. And at the end... Um, start to do to back to Moto2 and then go Superbike then I signed for a team which uh, was a lie they never start I've been without team or bike uh, for 6-7 months and at the end I get used to uh, was not new for me I just always try to be fit try to be ready to be waiting there for the opportunity. And yeah, it was March and opportunity arrived. Uh, Jake Lewis got injured and, and I was more than ready. Um, it was a question of time and the time arrived. And uh, I knew you from before, but we really met in, in Austin and we start to to have fun together. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, you've been really tough since the first day, cabron. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it, was, it was fun. It was just kind of, it was just so different because we have my accent and then we have you come in with your Spanish accent. And I just, I don't think the team could really understand either one of us. So I think it was a bigger adjustment for, for the team to understand <laughs> us more than it was for me and you. Yeah, it was, was tough. I, my English has to improve a lot still. I have a long way to go. But I'm getting there slowly, uh, step by step, uh, with Christy, my girlfriend, talking every day, talking in English and spelling with the kids. Uh, and it was, was really, really difficult at the beginning. But in some way, like an Indian, we understand each other. <laughs> And I, I had to ask you many times, what? 
can you can you repeat that? <laughs> Sometimes you give up like okay, man, you don't understand anything <laughs> what what, I, what I, I'm saying, but but yeah, you had patience with me, and uh, at the end was a little, little bit better. Really, what I was doing when you were talking, I'd around, I'd get on Google and Google what you said and translate it. That's why I could <laughs> that what you say yeah. most of the time. on the apps on the phone. This is yeah. what I mean. This is what I mean. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Uh, Fun. When did you know when you came over? You did Austin, and then you did. Uh, you was doing Atlanta. When did you know that you was gonna finish out the season? Was it at Austin or was it at Atlanta? Um. As uh, I know, when I knew. Uh, <laughs> no, the, tell me, tell me. Whenever uh, me and my wife in Atlanta was at dinner. Yes. From uh, sushi place out yeah. in the middle of nowhere, and, and here walks in you, Pat, and Don. Yes. I my wife then I said, I think I got a new teammate. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, I think that that was the moment. Uh, um, as, as I said, the, that situation was not not new to me. I get used to, to be there waiting for something. But they, they took me for a test, and just the test. They said, we, we just need you for a test. Come here, help us a little bit. And if you give us some information and you have fun, that's perfect. That's what I did. I came, uh, I had a lot of fun. I, I need it because uh, personally, I, I quit uh, a relationship in Spain two months before that was not in the best moment. Uh, everything was difficult, economically, uh, family, uh, personal relationships, well, everything was a disaster. So I came to Austin, I had a lot of fun. I ride the bike, I was too excited and I crashed <laughs> two or three times. <laughs> you, you remember, you didn't, yeah, you didn't use the, the qualifying in the last part of the test and team said, hey, we got one more qualifying. Do you want to try one more time? I said, of course. <laughs> <laughs> One corner, wow, I destroyed the bike. Um, ten minutes before, uh, Don Sakakura told me, if you want to come to ride for the first race, you are more than welcome. I said, of course, I want to ride. And they were happy about the test. I was happy too. So, okay, I'm going to race the first race. But then is when I arrived to the garage and the team asked me, do you want to use the last qualifying? And I crashed, I destroyed the bike and said, oh, fuck, <laughs> 10 minutes ago, I could have had some opportunity to race it, the first race, but after this crash, it's going to be impossible. They will kill me. Uh, nothing changed. I could race. I did the race. Uh, I won. And then team said, do you want to come to Atlanta? I said, oh, yeah, perfect. Everything was step by step. One test, one race, then another race. But I arrived in Atlanta. Uh, Josh Hayes explained me uh, the secrets about that track. And the first day we were living together, you and me. So I think that that's something Zuki and Yoshimura likes a lot. Circuit, uh, never ride it, and uh, was my first time there. And we were leading. Um, was good. It's when I arrived with, with, with Don and Pat in that restaurant. And yeah, you're right. <laughs> they offered to continue for the rest of the season, no? It was, <laughs> was a great dinner and a great moment for me. <laughs> was Josh Hayes' advice, was he honest or, were they, or was he telling you a story? He was really honest. Uh, too much. I think he... He realized, he realized it. Uh, he didn't want it to help me anymore <laughs> for the rest of the season, no? He said, okay, next time. He told me, hey, next time I'm not going to help you anymore. I said, okay, I, I understand. <laughs> I understand. When you came over, did you think the <laughs> competition came out of work harder? harder. Yeah. 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 Was, was hard and was tough because I found... The, the first rider I found was you. 
uh, in Austin, every single time I improve a little bit, the time you you came out with the, with a faster lap time. No, I said, this guy is really competitive. It's really really tough. It's really make me push myself. No, um, push to to have a, a better setup since the first day, and then. I found uh, Cameron really strong, George really strong. I really struggle a lot in American tracks with um, you, you guys were riding. Uh, I, I was riding some good things, but I had to learn how you guys did it. Jumping on the curves was something new for me. No? And the tracks were up and down, uh, blind corners, many many new things. I remember every single Friday in every new track uh, going out on the grass, uh, <laughs> posting on my social media, okay, uh, this come from my family, no, from the motocross, but was every single race uh, on the grass in the first practice. Uh, was tough. The, the, the level of American riders, it's it's high, and wow. learning that in in a short time was was difficult for me. At the same time, at the same way, uh, I think y you guys could see some things from Europe too, and we together we made this series stronger, no? And wow, the last two three years it's been really tough, especially my second year was. More difficult than the first one. You guys were super ready, keeping that level of riding style, but uh, with with new things from from setups, from maybe um, copy some things I was doing, uh, made the situation for me more difficult. And this never stopped. Every year it's more tough more difficult and but it's fun it's it's uh it's fun i don't want to i don't want to go anywhere any anywhere else is this where you want to finish your career here uh moto america yes uh you never know but but probably is where uh where i will finish my my career i i hope it's i hope later than than sooner but but yeah, yeah uh, all this all this opportunity gave me gave me an opportunity of life. Uh, I met Christy. Uh, we we had uh, Key. We had uh, Tony, little Tony, and now uh, it's gonna born in three months uh, a little a little girl. So I don't see my life anywhere else. My life is here. Uh, I'm a Spanish from from Barcelona, from Manresa, but, but I'm not going to go back there. I'll back to, to visit family, to visit friends, but uh, I'm happy here. Uh, so uh, still some, I think I still have some good years, but not a lot. So try to have fun the last part of my career here, and, and that's it. So when you're done, you're going to call Cal California home. You're not going to go back to Spain. <laughs> Sorry, can I... The you retire, are you going to stay in California or go back home? No, no, no. I want to stay here. I love California, uh, and I love the, the, the style. I found the... the I have a lot of fun surfing, so it's uh, the best place to to do it. So the combination life, surf, family, I found here. Um, Spain is nice. is my is my place uh, where I born. I love it, but but I love this this lifestyle, and, and right now I don't, I don't want to change it. That was. Uh one of the things I noticed when you came over was how much you respected the the American flag 
the national anthem. I mean, you would never, you're always like, when's the national anthem? When is it? Cause you always wanted to, the videotape it and it gave you goosebumps and you just, you <laughs> fell in love with all the American traditions as soon as you came over. And I thought that was, uh, was really cool because, you know, I'm the same way, you know, I really respect all the American tradition and, you know, I used to love it whenever the national anthem would play and, you know, yeah. you would get goosebumps. so, you know, it was definitely really cool. I miss that moment, man, with you. We had uh, uh, a lot of fun, and that, that moment before this is to be there listening the national anthem. As, I, as you said, uh, I show you, man, look, goosebumps, like, let's do it, no? And once we need the, the national anthem, and was like, okay, come on, Lord, let's do it. It <laughs> was uh, so, so much fun, no? Uh, and and yeah, I I think I, I love this these things before I arrived here. Um, when when I was little, all my idols uh, were American. I followed Supercross, uh, 500 GPs, mm, when Rainy, Swans, Lawson, and uh, Mamola, uh, Roberts, all these all these guys. Uh, the Americans, no? Yeah. Mm, always listening the national anthem. Uh, since very little, I had uh, the big American flag on the wall with the eagle breaking the, the flag. Uh, I love that since very little, and I had it for many years. Um, and look how the, the life is. Now I'm here. And that's why I have goosebumps. And for me, it's it's a feeling, and I like that. And and American, it's not a, it's not something I'm doing to be loved from America or from the American fans. It's something personally I really feel since since little, no. And now I'm here. I'm part of it. Uh, and I had so so much respect for all these things, no? Yeah, I, I agree because when you get goosebumps, you know, you can't just force yourself to get those. That's a natural. Yes. A natural, <laughs> so definitely, I, I believe it was real from the get-go. Does being a dad, does that change your approach to racing at all? Sorry? Does being a, a, a dad, does that change your approach to racing? Uh that my, my dad, you said? No, just being a dad. Ah. Like dad, does it does that change your approach to racing? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's been. Uh, I love all these things and and uh, and this this championship. It's also it's it's different. It's very strong. It's a still um, it's a still very very raw. Uh, we are all, all there uh, racing really really strong uh, with less political things than Europe and uh, I think it's nice. I, I since I arrived, I loved all these things, and I really appreciate it. And uh, this opportunity for me, it's been it's been amazing. Uh, not only for race, for life, for so I'm I'm really grateful, and I really appreciate. And I think uh, that's why I want to to finish my career here. Looking forward to this season. Uh, what's the difference between the and the Yoshua? Uh, this is a big... Uh, it's been a lot of surprises. And they, they, they are changes, are big changes, are not, not uh, easy to, to digest in short time. But it's like, okay, it's what it is, it's what I have, it's a, a big change, so let's do it. 
So uh, I'm really happy to be to have the opportunity to work with Yoshimura Suzuki. This this season, so I, uh, it's been a really great great people, human being, very professionals. The level always it's been perfect. We both together, I think we are agree. We never had any problems, any issues. Uh, the level of professionality, it's been, it's been tough. More than a lot of uh, world championship uh, teams. Um, so this is a new team for me. Um, I, 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 when I arrived, I felt a good energy of, of win. They want win. They are hungry for win. They will do anything. Um, then we have to to play with less budget. The bike, it's basically the same. The bike, the, the bike, you know, the bike we know, it's it is that one. But we are trying to always improve that. Um, trying to to find new solutions of swing guards. Um, it's it's something thinking in economy and thinking in in uh, work well on the track. Uh, it, we need to find different solutions, but I think we we are on the way. Uh, the test in Barber was better than what I expect. We kind of found some solutions for the front, for the stability, and what I was looking for. But we need to continue. Yamaha looks like improve a lot in many areas, electronics, frame, power. They are doing a great job. They are much more stronger than ever. But we have to be there. The, with less test, with less time, with less budget, that's a target. That's a, a goal, and I'm fully in, no, and uh, giving everything. Uh, talking with the team from all the experience we had during these four years, and experience from the past, uh, all the mistakes, all together. I don't want a mistake. Uh, we are talking very clear when. When they propose something, I don't think it's <laughs> it's right. Uh, I, I'm not I'm not shut up my mouth. No, uh, just talk clear since the first day. Uh, this is crazy. No, this is good. Wow, let's do it. Uh, we have to prepare this, this, this. I think all together we are we're taking a good direction. What will be our level compared Yamaha? I don't know yet, but we are not far. I think. I'm positive, so uh, just anxious to 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 see the green light to start racing, no? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I got a couple fan questions here, okay? Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Jixer Cat one asked, was we always great teammates from the start? And <laughs> the first couple of races, we were really good teammates. And then at one time at Laguna, we, oh. had, a, we had one argument, <laughs> a yeah. big, big argument. And uh, I remember they shut the team lounge and we were yelling back and forth at each other. But <laughs> the cool part for me about that was, was I understood your side and I understood my side. And we both mm -hmm. knew it. Because the competitive nature, yeah, both want to win. It just came out, and it wasn't. We went back and forth, but it never. We didn't drag it on. We dropped it after that race. So, yeah. for me, I thought we were great teammates and got along from the very beginning, and definitely raised the level of me. You know, because always, you know, you always want to beat your teammate. So, uh, and you never held anything back. Every time I asked you a question, I always thought that. Uh, it was a real answer. You know, sometimes you ask somebody a question and you think, okay, was that the real answer? So <laughs> what, about, what about for you? Was it always, was always great being teammates from the get go with me or, or not? 
I, I always thought you all, you are really smart. So the and I know this because the way you work and the way you write and the some questions you asked me during this period together. No, I said, oh, that was a good <laughs> that was a good question. He he want to he want to know things. He is investigating things. No, so but I always try to be the more most transparent, more um, real. Um, of course, we've been we've been rivals, and I had to to you play, you played your games, and I played mine. But as I said, since the first day, you've been always very competitive, and and when you have a teammate like you, the the always what you want is beat your teammate first of all, and then beat the rest. And man, I, I couldn't beat you. I've always been su super super fast when when we were talking about one lap, one fast lap. <laughs> man, you, you always beat me. So that was <laughs> I was getting crazy every every test because even the the simple test in Thunder from summertime, <laughs> I remember <laughs> you were pushing so hard. And I was thinking, man, we are on vacation now. <laughs> Why do we have to, to push like this? So you you always put my limit, push push my limit. Um, like you said, I think the beginning we didn't know each other, and then we we knew more each other and was better. You've been competitive and kind of keeping some space at the beginning. But then was less and less, and then after that argument in Laguna, I understood. Uh, of course, uh, uh, I had part of the fault on that because I kind of disturb you or stop you in some way. So I understood your side, but you understood mine. I was uh, desperate to to chase Cameron and Josh. And we were playing the championship, so at the end we we argue a lot, but we everything was clear between us, and that is nice, no? To found uh, under and to understand each other and had the this relationship, and then we we could work more together as a teammates for the team, for the bike, to improve, to. To, to divide the work and uh, of course we had writing different writing styles but, but and, and we use different setups but most of the things could could be could work for both and uh, and I think uh, it's it, it's sad uh, from Nikki's moment I think we 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 became more friends, no, and that's that's uh, important for me. You you are a friend. Uh, fans can know. Uh, we are not teammates anymore, but always we are in contact. We we talk a lot, and if we can help each other, uh, we will. So uh, happy for all this because now I have a good friend. <laughs> that's right. All right, last question, and this was the best question somebody wrote me, okay? Okay. <laughs> Jeff Rose asked me, this is for you. How did it feel being the second best rider on the Yoast team in 2017? Do you what? How did it feel being the second, second best, best looking rider looking on the Yoast uh, oh, he was saying, saying I look better. Yes, <laughs> I understood. I understood. <laughs> Man, uh, I, I I felt good. <laughs> I feel good on that. Uh, um, I, I like you, man, as a teammate. So, um, and and you and you are the American. So. In some way, you always been the the, <laughs> the first one, and I understand 
coming from Spain, priorities from the country, from U for USA, for the fans, are American riders. And it, it's going to be always like that. So I understand this. So I'm... And I'm fine with it. So. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Tony, for uh, taking the time. And uh, best of luck this season. And we'll be keeping in touch, my man. Sure, sure, man. Thank tell you so much. Oh, tell Christy I said hi and the, the kids. Thank you. Say, say hi to your family, Dana, and all the cats. And big hug for your parents, too. I will yeah. see <laughs> See you, man. Bye. Bye.